I'm very frustrated at being back six months before the expedition is due to finish. Um, I'm not good at crying over spilt milk or split fingers, but um, it is extremely frustrating. Um, I started work on this expedition five years ago. I've been working on it and nothing else full-time and unpaid for five years. So it is definitely frustrating, but unavoidable. And I will make the best of it by putting my focus full-time onto making my focus entirely on the expedition team, which, of course, is going on. The expedition aim, it's got several aims. One is to do the first crossing of Antarctica in winter. And winter starts in uh, three weeks' time, or on the 20th of March. And the expedition is fully on schedule, as at today, to start on time, having already dropped off the depot run, which has been very difficult, but the team are brilliant. I'm very pleased with and proud of the team in charge of the crossing, which is obviously mechanized, of the uh, whole of Antarctica, and everything is going totally on schedule as of today. The aims, apart from crossing the continent in winter time, would have been to have somebody on skis crossing it, in addition to the vehicles, and that would have been me. The other aims are an intense scientific program, an educational program, and above all, a charity program aiming at $10 million, which is an awful lot of human beings who would go blind and won't go blind because of what we are doing. So charity, education, science, and the main crossing are all completely on schedule. And the only thing which has been dropped is doing it on skis. This will, of course, mean that in two years' time, after this expedition has been successful and done it vehicularly, our friends the Norwegians will no doubt be up there doing it on skis, and rather like the Australians saying that although the Brits got more gold medals than they did, all the Brits' ones were sitting down either on boats or cycles, where we had the same sort of thing with the Norwegians. Um, but that's the way it goes. Um, I'm very happy to answer any questions um, that you may have.